Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever the case may be. Welcome to This Week in Comics. It is a Spider-Man kind of day. What is going on? There's so much Spider-Man in the news today that I thought I'd just do one video focusing on three different stories about our favorite wall crawler. So, starting with, all these stories are from, hey, Bounding into Comics, uh... Exclusive Marvel and sorry Marvel and Sony to release Spider-Man Far From Home extended cut in theaters. Hmm. In theaters, not to DVD. Very good. Interesting. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see how that does. Uh, Marvel and Sony will release a Spider-Man Far From Home extended cut into theaters. My source tells me this Spider-Man Far From Home extended cut will hit theaters on August 29th. They also passed along a nifty poster showing Spider-Man half in his stealth costume and half in his iron suit. That's called uh, Shadow Monkey, right? Night Monkey. Night Monkey. Night monkey. <laughs> Thank you, my producer, Elijah, correcting me. Uh, so Spider-Man, Spider-Man Night Monkey, Far From Home, the extended cut. All right. No other details about this extended cut were relayed. It's unclear what exactly will be included in it. Probably more Spider-Man stuff. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, Marvel Studios recently released an extended version of Avengers Endgame that included six minutes of extra footage. Did they release that into theaters? Uh, the extra footage included a deleted scene featuring Professor Hulk rescuing a number of kids from a burning building. It also included a teaser for Spider-Man Far From Home. The announcement of an extended cut comes just after Sony and Marvel broke off negotiations surrounding Spider-Man leading to his exit from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A, a report from Deadline indicate, indicated Disney was asking for 50-50 co-financing. The Hollywood Reporter stated Disney was looking for 30% co-financing. Oh, okay. Co-financing? Co-financing. That's information I did not have in my previous video, so that's good to know. Uh, more information, the better. Sony offered to continue the current financial deal, which reportedly sees Disney earn 5% of first dollar gross. Uh, all right, and there's that cool poster. On to uh, more news. This isn't all that exciting. I'm, you know, glad to see it. They'll milk some more money out of it, get some people to go see the movie twice that wouldn't have otherwise. But uh, let's move on. As, uh, again, from Bounding Inter Comics, rumor. Marvel and Disney offer new deal to Sony to keep Spider-Man in the MCU. See, in my article from earlier this week, um, that was what I said. I said, this ain't over. This is a bargaining tactic. Get people to the table. This, they're, 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 they've read Trump's uh, The Art of the Deal. And now, uh, and now we see, I was right. Um... A new rumor suggests Marvel, Disney, and Sony have reached a deal concerning Spider-Man. The rumor comes from TVO at the Lords of the Long Box. He, he states, quote, Disney has made a, a new offer to Sony and are waiting for them to accept or counter. The hope is that this is agreed upon by D23, so a huge announcement can be made of the renewal of vows. Think about this. D23 wants to pop bigger than Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, <clears throat> right. I understand. TVO, um, so that's like the Disney convention, right? D23? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it does seem like they're trying to take over uh, uh, Comic-Con's preeminence. So understandable. That they would, uh, they would, they would keep some of the, uh, the juicier bits for their own convention. <laughs> TVO then dives into the details of the deal. It's a six-picture deal with Tom Holland and an option for a seventh. There are three more Spider-Man films after the third one. Yeah, that's three. Three plus three equals six. Thank you. In essence, a new trilogy. The second trilogy will focus on Peter Parker's college years, including plans to meet up and team up with Firestar and Iceman. Uh -oh. <laughs> Please tell me that's not true. I mean, as much as I love the, the Spider Friends 
as a kid, looking back at it, come on. And is this just another way to get woke Iceman, mind-raped Iceman into the MCU? <sighs> he continues, the other three movies are two Avengers films, which Spider-Man will have a large role with the Fantastic Four becoming friends with Johnny Storm. Okay, that I can get into. That I can get into. Marvel Studios will helm and co-finance all Spider-Man related movies for 30% of full profits. Sony will distribute, but Biz Disney will acquire exclusive digital and online rights for Disney Plus and affiliated TV networks. Sony will distribute, but Disney will acquire exclusive digital and online rights for Disney Plus and affiliated networks. Did I just read that twice or did... Oh, gosh. This... Ugh. Marvel Studios will helm and co-finance Spider-Verse live-action spin-offs under the same terms. Venom will relocate into the MCU. Sony will be given permission for TV live-action programs based on Spider-Verse live-action properties. TVO also adds... Spider-Man is going to be in a D23 presentation. He's going to be in a panel. Along with this rumor from TVO at Lords of the Longbox office. Longbox office. Just Longbox. Lords of the Longbox. Tom Holland posted a number of photos alongside Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. Simply stating, we did it, Mr. Stark. In the final photo, it shows Downey Jr. holding a Spider-Man action figure with Holland Pulling an Iron Man one. Oh, wait, that's not the picture, is it? Aw, they're like best buddies. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We did it, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. All right, so wow, ten. 11 million likes. Can I get a shout out? <laughs> Iron Man directing. You know what? Um, Robert Downey Jr. actually shared one of my pieces of art before. It was a. Uh, I had Deadpool holding, holding uh, Iron Man on one side and Captain America on the other side, saying, "Boys, boys, think about Martha." And he actually shared it, and he said, "Too, too meta for Tony." And, uh, but he didn't credit me, so I didn't get any of that bleed off back into my account. So thanks a lot, Robert Downey Jr. Thanks for nothing. Iron Man uh, has nothing to do with this next story. It was just on my mind. Iron Man director John Favreau provides update on Spider-Man's status for the MCU holding out hope. Once again, I hate to be the one who says I told you so, but... It was kind of obvious, wasn't it? It's all tactics. Tactics, 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 tactics. The Mandalorian creator, Iron Man director, and Happy Hogan actor Jean Favreau provided an update on Spider-Man's status while attending D23. Favreau spoke with Variety regarding Spider-Man's status. He was asked whether or not Aunt May and Happy would have to break up if Sony and Disney didn't reach a deal. Favreau responded, I don't know. Aunt May and Happy were quite a couple there. As an actor, I had so much fun working with Marissa and Tom Holland. As a fan and an and uh, as a fan and as an actor, and as somebody who has been part of the Marvel story for so long, we've all read rumors, we've all read press releases, but you never know what's going to happen. Favreau then added, I'm holding out hope and being optimistic that this isn't the final chapter of that story between those two characters. I would love to see them continue to share the screen together. I don't mean just Happy and, and Aunt May. No, but I'm sure he's not disappointed that he gets to act with Marissa. <laughs> Tomei. I mean, Tom Holland and Spidey and the other heroes for the MCU. <laughs> the last official word on Spider-Man's exit came via a statement from Sony indicating that they were disappointed in the exiting deal and placed the blame on Kevin Feige's increased workload with the arrival of the former Fox properties such as the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. What a mouthful. Whew. However, the latest rumor indicates Marvel and Disney fired off a new deal in order to try and keep Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That deal reportedly includes 
a brand new Spider-Man trilogy that follows Peter Parker to college, which we just covered in the previous story. Yeah, um, X-Men and the Fantastic Four coming into this, they could really, really make revitalize the Marvel Creative Universe, uh, uh, Cinematic Universe with X-Men and Fantastic Four if they chose to go that direction. Uh, guys, if you're out there and you're listening, please reboot the X-Men by bringing the Avengers Hulk into a a Wolverine story, a, Wolverine, a new Wolverine Hulk. Call it Wolverine versus Hulk. And just do, redo Hulk 181 with our hulk but have him be rampaged rather than have him lose his senses again and um send a new wolverine this is how you introduce a new five foot four built like a tank wolverine into the marvel universe and this gives you the ability to reboot the x-men and then you kind of move over to the x-men focus on x-men fantastic four bring in the avengers periodically but Guys, you killed the Avengers. You killed them. They're dead. All of your A-listers are gone. You cannot do this ridiculous Phase 4 with the Whammons rights crap. It's going to suck. So please do something inventive and creative and thoughtful. Or you're just going to lose everyone. You're going to lose. My, my kids are getting bored of it. Honestly. They're already bored of it. You got to do something new and fresh, or yeah. I'm not interested in seeing any more superheroes. Elijah's not even interesting in see interested in seeing any more superheroes at this point. You guys, have, you yeah, you've tapped us out. You've tapped us out. Anyways, the dispute between between Sony and Disney has divided a number of fans, and even had J. C. Lee, Stan Lee's daughter, weigh in. She has declared that no one could have treated her father worse than Disney and Marvel executives. Oh. You know I'm recording. And you know they can't hear you. <laughs> Commentary. Uh, what do you think about Favreau's response? Do you want to see Happy Hogan and Aunt May continue their relationship? Personally... I don't care. <laughs> that wasn't, uh, that wasn't, uh, it, it was kind of an interesting aside, um, sort of a uh, comedic, you know, levity. What do they call that? <laughs> comic relief. Comic relief. Of course, so much of the, the Spider Man movies is, is relies on, on humor and whatnot, so. But, anyways, that is it. I think, boy, three, three three count them three spider-man stories in one day um but yeah as i said before it's all just tactics it'll all work out fine don't worry about it you're gonna get your spider-man you're gonna get your mcu you're gonna get all that let's just hope and pray that it is worthy of the name and the property itself anyways thank you all for being here this week in comics spider-man edition take it easy